Yeah. Aren't you happy here? Yeah. Looks like it could hurt somebody. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like tape. It does. That's too much burn notice for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never too much burn notice. So Sorry. What separates the gifted from other Marvel shows. Hi, my fellow Englishman. Hello. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Go for it. You want me to hit this? Okay. Uh, yeah, the gifted. When we were looking at this, I mean, the Marvel Universe has got an incredibly passionate group of people that support it. The stories have always uh, had metaphorical sides to it. These are ordinary people. This is a street level view of the X Men. It's way grittier, it's way more. It's humans, it's people, in, in ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances. We're not running around in latex suits, in massive planes, doing whatever. And not trying to save the world, they're just trying to survive. Survive. Right, and I, I think that's a lot grittier, it's a lot more real, and it's a lot more timely. Well, X Men has always been timely, but this is more timely than, than we thought. So where would you say you like say had to go in order to research your character, or what influenced your characters? Uh, I can't talk about my origin story because it actually affects a lot of the show, and because it doesn't exist in the comics, it's totally right, new right. information. Both of our, yeah, but we're both, both of us, sorry, our yeah. characters are new to the to mm -hmm. the. Which is why they stick us together, like new dudes, but then we get the noobs. <laughs> yeah. um, no, uh, yeah, it's, I asked uh, a question hoping you'd like, let some stuff you know, slip. There's yeah. a, yeah, I mean, well, well uh, I can. Eclipse, Marcus is kicked out of his house when he's 13 years old. He's made to sleep on the streets of Bogota in a cardboard box. And because of that, when you're put in those extreme circumstances, again, just for being different, just for having the X gene that he didn't know he had. Um, you try and find any way to survive and he falls in with some people that take advantage of that when you're young and that take advantage of your need and they use his powers and he uses that security and eventually he becomes someone that he doesn't realize he was becoming and uh, yeah young purse hey love um, so I'm sorry I've lost I just got distracted sorry. by this <laughs> beautiful <laughs> jumper and the face um, yeah so I'm oh origin story <laughs> Well, good. No, I think, I think, I think <laughs> the question was influence your character. Yes, yeah. oh, so, so there's a lot of, so the organizations that he then sort of operates within in our story, there's a lot of them in the, in the world and there's a lot of, a lot of uh, stories for me to, to, for me to sort of read into and bear back on. So although I don't have comics, I have real world and, and a lot of what he's going through with those sort of organizations, there's a lot of, a lot of information. Are there, I just try to be as badass as possible. <laughs> So it's hard it. though, right? That's it. You know what I mean? Just, just be badass. I just look in the mirror and go. Action. Look, Let's you know, go. You make it look really good. No, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> are there any particular uh, storylines from the X Men mythos that you guys hope that your characters are a part of uh, moving forward in further seasons? Ooh. Oh, you mean like you mean like if our characters became comic characters? Well, I'm saying like that would be sick. No, I'm saying like, are there any specific? Uh, specific storylines that they hope oh. they, they include you guys into. I'd like to find out what happens, and me and Blair are very close, I'd like to find out what happens with Thunderbird and Warpath, because Warpath isn't around at the moment. Right. Uh, and that would be a fun thing to explore. Also, my baby mama's dad is Magneto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's kind of, yeah. my stepdad is Magneto. Right. <laughs> he doesn't know I'm Hispanic. Lot, yeah. She's kept all of this away from <laughs> no, That would be fun. It would be, it would be. <laughs> no, he would be understanding. Marcus is what He's you called him. Right. Uh, no, it would be, that would be fun. I've got Magneto and I got, yeah, it'd be fun to do that. Gotcha. I mean, the show just came out, uh, debuted last week. I mean, how has this past week been? Have you paid attention to feedback from fans? What have you learned? Of course, yeah, we have to pay attention you, to feedback. We wanted the feedback to be positive. We wanted they had us, to like it. Yeah, they had us live, live tweeting during the show, and the fans were, that was the most, most, most important to me, was like the fans, the Marvel fans, the X-Men fans were satisfied. They dug it. You know, they, they were, they were, they felt like we didn't let them down, and that's, Rarely have very I worked, important to us. Yeah, rarely have I worked on something where it's hard to find negative comments. Right. Normally it's like that guy sucks. Yeah. Uh, no, it was, no, all, it was, it was all good. but actually it was people were very nice and and, that and here mattered too, a lot to us. Here too, people just giving us love and it it's, yeah. feels good. I mean, there's also the fear that you know with the, the, it's a business, which isn't our fault. But so numbers and ratings and all these things, it's hard to not take that into account. And there's a lot of pressure and certain Marvel shows are doing very well, certain ones aren't, and so you don't want to fall down and you want to keep up, and, and there's, so there is that pressure, but, but actually the feedback from the fans is the biggest thing, and if not enough people, if we haven't had 50 million people watch it, we've had 10, and they really liked it, and that's what matters. So whoever does get to watch it enjoys it, and, and we do it justice. Yeah.
Do you think there are some themes in the show that can connect to the real world today? The whole show is Absolutely. That. The whole Absolutely. show is, 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 yeah, and more timely than ever. Like yeah, unfortunately more timely Watch than ever. Watch out, that laser's gonna come up your forehead if you say any more. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, it's, there, I mean, we're dealing with everything here. Like the X-Men has been about uh, the civil rights issues in the 60s, and the X-Men has been about the, has always supported the LGBT community. Uh, we have an, a very diverse cast. We're trying to cover a lot, not deliberately, but through natural story like storytelling. Um, we're covering a lot of bases and we're trying to do a lot of demographics justice. A lot of marginalized groups uh, can feel uh, validated and, and maybe resonate somehow with the stories we're trying to tell. And you always say a very smart thing about lights. About lights? I was just looking at your rings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, uh, we're I was just saying, you know, you know like, I mean, you know, you know, people with ring wearing addictions, they're going to really relate to being obnoxious and assholes. So real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Very I'm just appeasing, I'm appeasing the obnoxious people. No, uh, we're all mutants when you turn the lights on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That is the truth. So, that's so, so, so although line. we have a lot yeah, of people from different... trying to me to say my line, I, I know, blew no, it. I was going to give it to you, and now I'm stealing it, and you lost it, and it's blew your it. fault. You judge yeah. me back, too. It's true. It's true. I judge you constantly. <laughs> uh, so, Colby, your character works for the Sentinel Services. Uh, I don't really see him as like a full-blown irredeemable villain or anything. Could you tell us more about your character? Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly what you're saying. That's the mm -hmm. point of the character is that you can have an antagonist on a show like this. You can have the bad guy who's not, at his core, a bad guy. Right. You know? There's a lot of gray area in this show. Um, pretty early on in this season, we go, we go into my character's backstory and figure out why he's doing what he's doing and I think the fans will um, you know not necessarily root for him but they'll at least understand where he's coming from right. His motives and everything. yeah which yeah. makes it harder to which makes it great viewing because it's really hard to watch two people argue when both of them are right mm. it's a lot more interesting it's a lot it's a lot better storytelling so you're gonna see a lot of opposing views and that's gonna tear people tear people some people are gonna be influenced a different way once they get a different dynamic I mean, me and my character and Caitlin's character, and Amy's character, uh, have a lot to do in the second episode together. And those are two people from opposing worlds, and they enlighten and teach each other a lot. And that's the great thing about our show is those interesting new dynamics shift and move. And yeah, I mean, the way the you know Matt Nix and the whole writing writing team has set it up is just uh, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with what they're doing. You know, it's 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 not an easy task to bring some, something this big to you know to the to, to TV. Um, and, and they're doing a great job. And so we're just having a blast bringing it to life. See, that kind of answers my next question for you. It was like, what was it like working with Matt Next again? Oh, it's, uh, come on. The worst, yeah. right? It's, it's, <laughs> it's the worst. It's, yeah. <laughs> to be able to, I mean, to be able to work with somebody that you already sort of have an unspoken language with, and but also there's someone who's your friend. You know, at this point in my career, I, like, I really just want to work with people I like. You know? I'm sorry. I, didn't... I know, I know. And it, <laughs> I don't always succeed. But it's, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for. Yeah. No, I feel really lucky to be working with Matt. Um, and we have a bunch of burn notice. Along. We have, you know, Rashad Rasani, who's an, another producer, Matt, uh, Mike Horowitz, a lot of the directors as well. So it's been great. Back in the van. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good day. Thank Thank you. Appreciate it.